15 Shocking Survival Stories In this video you will discover 14 most shocking survival stories. But before we proceed, kindly like the video and subscribe to the channel to help us expand our presence on YouTube. Here are 14 most amazing survival stories in human history. This video is partially sponsored by DelvixGarden.com, your source for high quality food supplements and personal care products at low prices. This company has a range of premium products for your health, beauty, and personal care, including organic pine pollen, ceremonial grade matcha, medicinal herbs, hair dye shampoo, and plant-based protein for weight loss. There are links in the description. Kindly visit their store and use the coupon code FIRST20% to get 20% discount on your first order. 14. George H. W. Bush Survivor of the Chichijima Incident Also called Ogasawa Incident, Chichijima Incident is an event that occurred in the year 1944 on Peel Island, located 700 miles south of Tokyo. Japanese soldiers tortured and beheaded five of the American airmen and eight parts of the bodies of four, but nine managed to evade. At the end, George H.W. Bush was the only one who survived the incident by escaping from his plane after being shot down during bombing raids on Chichijima. Very few details are given on his escape. The ex-Republican president was just 20 years old when the Ogasawa incident occurred. 13. George Robert Twelves Hughes, survivor of the Boston Tea Party and the Boston Massacre. George Hughes was a modest cobbler born in Boston in 1742. He was one of the main protesters in Boston in the rebellion of the colonists against British domination. He played a major role in the American Revolutionary War. He was one of the Bostonian rebels who protested the Tea Act by throwing the tea cargo from England in Boston Harbor on December 16, 1773. He died on November 5, 1840 at age 98. He was the last living witness to this milestone. 12. Aaron Ralston, survivor of an extreme canyoneering accident in Utah. Aaron Lee Ralston is an Indiana mountaineer who became famous in May 2003 when trapped in the depths of a canyon for six days and five nights while hiking in the canyons of Utah. His incident was adapted for the film 127 Hours, directed by Danny Boyle in 2010. While hiking, Aaron fell and a 360 kilogram dislodged boulder fell on his forearm. After five days trapped, he exhausted his entire food reserves. Ralston is obligated to amputate his own arm with a dull pocket knife in order to free himself. Indeed, after the sacrifice, he was rescued by hikers as he was trying to reach his car. 11. Daniel F. Bakeman, Survivor of the American War of Independence Daniel Frederick Bakeman was born on October 9, 1759, in New York. At the age of 12, he married Susan Brewer, who was two years older. The couple beats the record of the only marriage to have exceeded 90 years. He was the last survivor of the American Revolution. Although the age is not exactly known, when he took part in the American Revolutionary War, also known as the American War of Independence, 1775 to 1783, Bakeman was very young. He died on April 5, 1869, at the venerable age of 109, making him the last living witness of the American Revolutionary War. 10. Juana Maria survived alone on Nicholas Island. The story of Juana Marina, also known as Lone Woman of San Nicholas Island, is one of the most fascinating survival events in human history. Following a dispute between the Nicolino tribe and Russian trappers, the entire tribe left their San Nicholas Island to take refuge abroad. Sadly, the boat leaves without Juana. By the time the crew realized it, a strong storm arose. Returning could be fatal for all of them. They decided to leave her. She would be found 18 years later by fishermen, dressed in a skirt made of greenish camorant feathers. She had survived in a hut built with whale bones. Juana Maria died on October 18, 1853 in California. 
She was the last survivor of that tribe. 9. Mary Allerton, Survivor of the Mayflower Mary Allerton Cushman was the last surviving passenger of the Mayflower, the ship that carried the pilgrims from Plymouth, a city on the south coast of Devon, England, to the New World in 1620. She arrived at Plymouth on the Mayflower when she was about four years old. In 1620, the Mayflower left Leiden in Holland with several passengers out to conquer the New World. One of them, Isaac Allerton, traveled with his family and has never returned to Europe. His daughter, Mary Allerton, who died age 83 in 1699, was the last survivor of the expedition. 8. Giuliani Kopchek, Lanza, Flight 508 on December 24, 1971, nearly 40 minutes after takeoff, the Lanza Flight 508 started getting hit by strong turbulence and lightning. After flying for 20 minutes in the dangerous zone, the right wing of the aircraft caught fire, causing it to crash. The plane crashed in a thunderstorm en route from Lima, Peru to Pucallpa, Peru. 91 people, all six of its crew and 85 of its 86 passengers, died except the thin 17-year-old German-Peruvian teenager, Giuliani Kopchek. Giuliani fell 10,000 feet, about two miles, down into the Amazonian rainforest. Amazingly, she survived the fall and remained in the jungle for 10 days until she was rescued by local lumbermen. She has fully recovered and studied biology. She is now working in Peru as a researcher in mammalogy, specializing in bats. 7. Harry Etlinger, Survivor of the Monuments, Fine Arts, and Archives Program The Monuments, Fine Arts, and Archives Program was a group of about 400 men, including Harry Etlinger, created in June 1943 by General Eisenhower, commonly called the Monuments Men. It was responsible for monitoring the Allies to recover historic and cultural works of art stolen by the Nazis. Indeed, at New Schwanstein Castle, the group would discover an estimated of several million dollars worth of paintings and sculptures, stolen from Jews by the Germans during World War II, which would become the greatest treasure hunt in history. Harry Etlinger was a common soldier of 19 years old when he was integrated into the program. He is now 89 years old. On October 22, 2015, he was awarded the Congressional Gold Medal. 6. Aristodemus, Survivor of the Battle of Thermopylae In Greek mythology, Aristodemus was the son of Aristomachus. The Battle of Thermopylae, August 11, 480 BC, opposed the Greeks to the Achaemenid Empire. The Greek army tried to hold the great Persian army of the great King Xerxes I at the entrance of the Passage of Thermopylae, which controls access of central Greece along the Aegean Sea. The Battle of Thermopylae was one of the most famous in antiquity. 300 Spartans, one of the most feared military forces in the Greek world, went to battle. Aristodemos has been the last survivor. It's not because he fought the enemy, but rather because he was exempted from battle due to illness. However, he was considered a coward by his countrymen. 5. Milvina Dean, Survivor of the Titanic Elizabeth Gladys Dean, also known as Milvina Dean, is the last survivor of the sinking of the Titanic, which happened in 1912. Upon boarding, she was the youngest passenger on board, then being two months old. She was traveling with her parents and older brother. The family had sold all their possessions in England and wanted to open a tobacconist shop in Kansas, USA. The father died in the disaster. The three survivors returned to England. She received an education funded by charitable organizations for survivors of the disaster, and then held various professions, employee of a mechanical business, secretary during World War, cartographer. She died of pneumonia in Hampshire, England, on May 31, 2009, at age 97. Number 3. John Glynn, Survivor of the Mercury Project the Mercury Project is the first U.S. spaceflight program to have sent an American in space. It was launched in 1958, days after the creation of the U.S. Space Agency, NASA, and was completed in 1963. 
The program's objectives were to put a man into orbit around the Earth, to study the effects of weightlessness on the human body, and to develop a reliable recovery system of the spacecraft and its crew. The project includes seven Mercury scientists, known as Mercury 7. Since the death of his old friend, Scott Carpenter, in 2013, John Glenn is the last survivor of that team. 2. Donald Clifford, sculptor of Mount Rushmore. The Mount Rushmore National Memorial is a famous monumental granite sculpture, which features the heads of four U.S. presidents. George Washington, 1732 to 1799, Thomas Jefferson, 1743 to 1826, Theodore Roosevelt, 1858 to 1919, and Abraham Lincoln, 1809 to 1865. Clifford Donald worked as a sculptor on the famous recognizable landmark of the country. He is the last survivor of all those who participated in its realization. He wrote a book where he talks about his experience, Mount Rushmore, Q&A. 1. Cecilia Chichin, the only survivor of the Northwest Airlines Flight 255. On August 16, 1987, at 2045, a Northwest Airlines MD-80, Flight 255, crashed shortly after taking off at Detroit to Phoenix, United States. The crash caused the death of 154 of the 155 occupants of the aircraft and two motorists. The only survivor was a four-year-old girl, Cecilia Chichen, who was found in her chair a few hours after the incident. Rescuers found her traumatized and injured. But today she has no memory of that tragic event when she lost her mother, father, and his big brother. Thank you for watching until the end. Please like the video and share it with your friends. Remember to subscribe to the channel to help us establish our presence on YouTube.